can already see people from behind like rushing in, throwing their things or somebody cutting, people stabbing themselves like <laughs> I have been making videos about Germany for a long time but I never criticized it. So today I'm gonna tell you things that I hate about living in Germany. So let's go. No small talk. When you're doing things on your everyday life, so to say, like you go to the post office or you go and get a coffee or you're buying a freaking tennis racket, there is no small talk. And this is something that whenever I go to the US, I kind of like miss. So I'm gonna cut my hair here and they also give you whoosh. <laughs> you just, whatever, you throw a, sh a stupid joke. You know, you both laugh a bit or, you know, you're like, ha ha ha. Oh, where are you from? Ah ha ha ha. Ah, ha ha ha. You know? But here, it, that doesn't happen. And I don't blame them. It's not that they're, the Germans are, you know, angry at you or they don't want to talk to you or they're, you know, mean people. Not at all. It's just like they just don't do that. It's not a custom here. Of course, there are going to be some people that do it. And, you know, there's that one random German. But it's not something that you could expect happening a lot friends yeah sometimes it feels a bit lonely it not only stays with like services and processes that you have to go it also goes into meeting new people as well like whenever you want to meet new people depending on the situation it can be extremely hard you would think that you could make friends by going to a bar but actually that doesn't work out here people go out to a bar and then they stay together in groups that they know each other from school or from university it is insane. I have a German girlfriend and when she started her master's, she told me how important the first day of the master is or like that first week because it's when everybody starts doing their own group. And if you didn't fit in kind of like a social group or you didn't find anybody that you could, you know, hang around with, yeah, it's gonna be lonely <laughs> or it's gonna be harder to meet new people. So yeah, it's very interesting. My tip is to definitely start going to sports if you wanna meet people. I did that recently this week I went to a running club and honestly there for some reason like this rule of not being open to small talk kind of like completely changes because I think Germans go with the mentality of like ah I'm gonna be people there <laughs> Deutsche Bahn the other one is my arch nemesis the Deutsche Bahn Deutsche Bahn is like a private company and it sucks <laughs> like they just suck they make my life miserable they are the regional trains the ones that connect cities or towns since i moved here it has been just like completely going downhill like whenever you want to get somewhere and there's a delay if you want to visit a friend like most probably the train can actually not go you can actually start a small talk with a German by hating on the Deutsche Bahn and just say like, wow, wie kann das sein, huh? was soll das? Or something like this, dude. And they all, they like it. They love to complain about the, the Deutsche Bahn. So it's something that unites us. Stuck in the past. So I do feel that Germany is a bit stuck in the past. But like everything I feel like we're, we're catching up but wow, there's still work to do, like especially the banks here, like Commerce Bank, Deutsche Bahn. I don't know about the other banks, but it sucks, dude. Like <laughs> the bureaucracy of like doing a lot of paperwork. They still send you a lot of letters, which I think it's insane. Like the Finanzamt sends you a lot of letters. It's not the end of the world. It is just a bit of a, it's a bit of a bump on the road, but you can manage. And of course it's gonna get better, which I'm very happy about. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff where I'm like, it's time to hit that update and just start making things a bit better. Apartments. Germany has a housing crisis and it's not looking too bright. Like every year apartments are just getting extremely expensive and it's hard to find them because there's a lot of people also trying to move out of their parents' houses or moving to a new city for work. So you get a lot of competition and it can get complicated. It can also be sometimes shitty because sometimes you get an apartment and it doesn't have a freaking kitchen. 
here we are in Emo Immobilion Scout and this is basically a super expensive apartment, 3,995 cal meter. So not even, that's not the full price. It's just like, call it the starting price. It has, it has a bathroom and there we go. It doesn't have a kitchen. So for 3,995 cal, you don't have a kitchen. So just, just go f yourself. There's a lot of bullshit in the process. Definitely my advice is to 100% if you're gonna move to Germany, start as soon as possible to find apartments. Definitely if you are coming for work, having a contract helps a lot. They normally ask for a bunch of requirements, so make sure to have those requirements, you know, tippy-toppy, so to say. And maybe learn CPR and then put it on your resume, like, so that they're like, oh, well. <laughs> Supermarkets. I hate German supermarkets. And you're like, Fernando, why? There are so many like cool German supermarkets. Like I go to Aldi. It goes beyond that. It goes into the feeling that you, you get when you're in the supermarket and mainly two things that happen. I would say the best supermarkets for me are like these ones, like Basic and Al Natura because they're like, you know, super chill. Everything works out. Everything is perfect. Everything is clean. But of course, they're the most expensive ones. And then there are these other ones that are okay. They're fine. But, you know, the experience is not that good. And there's this thing that happens in these supermarkets. And it's like when you're going to cash out and you're, you know, you have all your groceries. For some reason, they don't have constant people sitting down at the at the register. They, they normally have one person that has to hold the fort until there's like a super line, like a huge line of people. What happens is that there's gonna be one German that's gonna say, können Sie bitte Kasse 2 öffnen? And then what happens is like this line of people, not so much the people in the front, but the people in the back start speculating which cash register is gonna open. So you would think like the person in front of you is gonna get the privilege to go to the new cash register. No. No, 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 no. Here is every person by themselves. Like there is no friendship, no solidarity. This is the only moment where I think like German society crumbles. <laughs> and then you see this person approaching and then you see how they sit down and you can already see people from behind like <laughs> rushing in, throwing their things or somebody caught in. It's horrible. It's just like, first of all, Relax. Second of all, the person in front of you should be allowed to go first because that person has been waiting. You on the back, you're the last one. You just arrive or something like that. You you know, what's what's your privilege? But no, it doesn't matter, man. They just go and like, that's why I hate. <laughs> Once you start like, you know, going, then the cashier, especially if you go to Aldi or Lidl, the cashier starts like throwing things at you. Ba, 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 ba. And it's super annoying because like it really doesn't help you because then you have to kind of like put things in your cart. You normally supermarkets here are very small, so you don't have like a cart. And then it's just a mess. So bring your knives, you know. <laughs> like it's not the end of the world. You know, there's so many other things that like I, I could tell about my country that I, I think are way worse, like insecurity. The electricity goes away. So you could be recording a video and then the electricity goes away. So yeah, let me know what things you hate about Germany or if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.